The food I've liked in my time is American country cooking. I've read hundreds of cookbooks. For my money, they are the bird. I've read hundreds of cookbooks. For my money, they are the bird. I'm not too proud of having my name associated with some of my restaurants. I'm against retiring. The thing that keeps a man alive is having something to do. It came to me that the one thing I could do was cook, and I figured I couldn't do any worse than the people running these places around town. I've got no idea when I'm going to retire. Whenever they pick me up and take me to the funeral home, I guess. My life is devoted to business and supporting my family. Don't be against things so much as for things. To me, my recipes are priceless. You got to like your work. You have got to like what you are doing. You have got to be doing something worthwhile, so you can like it because it is worthwhile. That it makes a difference, don't you see? A lot of learned men think people really are the food they've eaten. I always hired widows with children because they had to work and didn't have any foolishness about them. I've read hundreds of cookbooks. Most of those cookbooks don't even tell you how to get a steak ready, how to bake biscuits or an apple pie. No hours, nor amount of labor, nor amount of money would deter me from giving the best that there was in me. I could see it wasn't going to be easy. I couldn't give a franchise to any old greasy spoon, and I knew the chicken had to be cooked the way I told them to cook it. If it was going to be as popular as it could be, I don't fear that a man will wear out as quickly as he will rust out. I've only had two rules: do all you can and do it the best you can. It's the only way you ever get that feeling of accomplishing something. There's no reason to be the richest man in the cemetery. You can't do any business from there.